everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a collective haul. I got my tax back recently so went on a bit of a shopping spree. So stay tuned if you want to see what I got. First of all I'm going to start out with some jewellery. I went to Colette first and Colette is one of my most favourite jewellery stores ever. They are so affordable, they're always getting in new stuff and they constantly have sales so that's my kind of shop. So first of all I got these dangly diamond earrings here. And then I also got another pair of earrings, they're just, I don't know, they look like wings and they're sparkly. You can see that, I'm sure. And then I also got this marble gold ring from Colette, so I think that's really pretty. Uh, next I went to Sports Girl and got another two pair of earrings. These are just uh, studs that I can wear every day to work. So I just got a little pearl pair and then a rose gold pair. They were marked down to $7.95, so that's a bargain. More accessories. I went online to peppermayo.com. So I signed up to their newsletter and they sent you a discount code for $10 off. So I decided to do a bit of shopping. So I got these sunglasses here from Key Australia. I always go to say Quay, but then that's not it. Also from Pepper Mayo, I got this big coat right here. I know winter's nearly over, but it'll still be good for spring, you know, with a dress or something. So I'll... Um, and it's just got a button there, nice thick coat. It's not stretchy though, so I went a size bigger to make sure that I had lots of room. I guess we'll move on to clothes then. I went to a boutique called Melrose Avenue and got this plain uh, black knit here. And so it's just got a little zip on the back and it's a bit longer at the back as well on the bum, which is what I like. And then I went to Ali. I was after a khaki knit and I couldn't find one anywhere. Trusty Ali gets me every time. I got this one here. It's kind of like a turtleneck, but not really. It just sits like this. It doesn't fold over like a big turtleneck. So it's a nice khaki one, a little bit longer at the back again. I think this one was $34. Um, the black one was $45 and the big coat was... $79 I'm pretty sure. I did a little shop on iHerb.com. Um, I picked up two more of the Real Techniques Expert Face Brushes. They're only $10 each on iHerb. I think at Priceline they're like $23. And then I also just picked up a e.l.f. small angled brush to use for wing liner or eyebrows or um, eyeshadow on the, on the bottom here whatever that's called. That was only like a dollar or something, so that'll come in handy. I then went on to beautybay.com and ordered a few more Zoeva brushes. I got this 109 face paint brush. They're contouring, so I can't wait to give that one a little go. Um, then I got this 126 cheek finish brush. Just a nice blush brush. I also want to maybe try bronzer for this one as well. That's why I got that one. Then I got this 233 cream shader eyeshadow brush and I got this one mainly to use with my Colourpop eyeshadows because you do need a synthetic um, bristle brush for those so I'll give that one a go. And then I got the 230 Lux pencil brush. So it's just a small tapered pencil brush Mainly I'm going to use that for under my eyes. These were about $12 each and these were $15 to $20 each, something like that. So add them to my collection. Now onto the exciting makeup. First of all, I got the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Is this my first Too Faced product? I think it might be. But anyway, I'm so excited to try this. The bronzer that I use at the moment is the Napoleon Purtis Matte Bronze and I do love that one, but I wanted to try a different one. Give it a smell, I guess. Mm. You're bloody kidding. Oh well. Oh well, shit happens. I can't wait to use that. It's not too warm or orange, so it should go really well with my Casper the Ghost skin. And then I got my first MAC products. Yay! I got the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. So I'm really excited to use this one because I do put uh, a lot of powder products on my face. So I got this one to spritz all over. Next I got the Paint Pot in Paintly. So I got this to use as an eyeshadow base for my 
eyeshadow. Duh. It's just a nice light color, so that should suit me quite well. I do have quite veiny eyelids, as weird as that sounds. My veins are really, really blue and really prominent, like everywhere I have veins. So I can't wait to use that and see how it goes. Next, I got the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade. I think it's just a nice, subtle one that I can use every day instead of using my Mary Luminizer because that's quite bam. That is everything I got. I hope you enjoyed my little haul. If there are any other MAC products you think I should absolutely definitely get, then let me know in the comments because I'd really like to get some more. Well, I hope you all have a good day and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. So you focused now? Are you? You focused? I'm going to cry. Right, so can I try and do a haul now because this is really shitting me, and if not, what if I just go?